Hi, hello and welcome. Have you heard about Fast Fourier Transform Algorithm, also called as FFT algorithm, which is used for complex signal processing techniques like radar communications and uh, sensor signals, etc. FFT is also called as Cooley and Tucky algorithm, named after J.W. Cooley and John Wilder Tucky. Tucky was not just a mathematician and a statistician. He was phenomenal in data analysis as well. And he has significantly contributed to the field of data science as well. One of his contributions is box plots, also called as box and whiskers plot. Box and whisker plot is a fantastic visualization for its capability to analyze not just one, but many data points in a single visual. Let's take a moment to thank Tucky for his contribution. And in this video, let's try to understand how to read a box and whiskers plot how to implement one in Power BI. I'll be showing you two methods to implement a box and whiskers plot in Power BI. And let's also understand when and where to use it. Please do like and subscribe to the video and hit that bell icon. My name is Vinayak Panchaman and welcome to Data Day Limited. Now let's try to understand how to read a box and discuss plot. So for that, I have a small data set, okay, which says the student name, their score in the subject math and the gender, okay. We'll be just analyzing only the female students over here for the easiness. So if you come here, you can see this box and whiskers plot over here. This is called as a box and the line over here is called as whiskers. We basically have five major data points in this. You can also add mean and the outliers to that as well if you need, but let's analyze with five major data points in this. So we have this data, which is a mark of this female students. So the least marks is A48, which is scored by NOAA. And we have the highest mark, which is scored, which is 95, which is scored by Grace. Okay, so the least part or the starting point is 48 and the ending point is 95. And if you draw a scale over here, the usually the mark starts from 0 to 100, right? But we are particularly interested in the data set or the range of data of the scores what is achieved over here. So which is 48 to 95 scored by students. So your minimum in the the starting whisker, the starting point would be the minimum from the data range, which is from 48 to 95, which is 48 and 95 is the maximum range. Okay. If you look at the data over here, minimum is 45 and the maximum is 95. And the midpoint over here is 83. So that's what is a median over here. So we have two more data points, which is Q1 and Q3, also called as first quartile and the third quartile. We also call it as 25th percentile and the 75th percentile. So what do you mean by that is the first uh, 25th percentile is or the Q1, there lies the 25% of data. The next 50% lies in between the box and the final 25% lies in the third quartile. Okay. So that's what it, sta uh, it states. So it's called as Q1, Q3 or first quartile and the uh, third quartile or 25th percentile and 75th percentile. So how to know Q1 and Q3? It's simple. So if you draw a line in between, which is our median, and draw one more line in between these, this point, right? So somewhere here, it will be our 73. So that's what is our 25th percentile. And if we draw a, one more line in between this one, that will be somewhere between 88. So that is our third quarter. That's it. So we, we get five data points in a single visual. That's simple as it is. That's how we read a box plot. So now let's see how to implement it in Power BI. So it's the same data set. I know it's a ridiculously small data set, but it's always good to have a small data set so that we can understand the concept, implement it in a larger data set. So we have the same student marks over here. The first method is click on this visual gallery, go to get more visuals. So here we get the external visuals from uh, Power BI developed by third party or uh, even Microsoft also develops it. But there are a lot of visuals which is developed by third party. So box and whiskers. So click on this box and whiskers. Click add so that it will get added to your visual. Uh, just click on the add and it will get added to your 
Visual Pay over here. So if you see this, it I've already added it. So I just have to click on this one. So I have to analyze my box and whiskers. I need to have the minimum range, the maximum range, the mean, the median, Q1 and Q3, right? So the first thing is I'll add my student. That's what I want to analyze. And I want to analyze it by gender. That's my first category. You can add more category if you need on in this. This visual will allow you to add more category. In the values, I'll add the score, okay? So since it's not a temporal data, it a cat, it's a category uh, kind of a data set, I want to have it in a horizontal orientation. So if you have a time series kind of analysis, it's always better to have uh, the category below and in the vertical orientation. If not, it's always better to have it in a horizontal orientation. So I have this chart over here. So we have male and female and all their attributes of the data. So let's filter on the female and verify it. So I just click on female. So I've already made the measures manually over here with the DAX for us to analyze it. So if you look at just go to a point and just check it out, the minimum score is 48. So you can see that the minimum over here is 48 as well. And the maximum is 95. And yes, it's correct. And the mean is 78. We have the right mean calculation over here. The median is 83. And the lower quartile, which is our Q1, is 73. It's rounded over there. And the upper quartile is 88, which is 87.50, which is a precise number. So this is a, it's, it's very easy to put it up. So it's it comes with all the bells and whistles. It's easy to modify. Uh, you have all the options to put it with this visual. But what happens is sometimes the organization won't allow you to use uh, external visual due to the data privacy uh, things. In that case, we don't have a built-in visual inside Power BI. You can't see it anywhere over here where we can build a box plot. But it's possible to build a box plot with a clustered column chart. Let's see how to do that. So first thing is we should have all these six measures, all the measures what we want to show it in the box and discuss plot. So I've created these measures. measures. Let me explain you. The first one is minimum score, which is simple min function min student marks and the score one line code and next one is the maximum score just change it with min to max you get the same thing and the mean score which mean is our average so average student marks score the table name and the and the field name that's it and the median we have a function for median so just use a median it's gonna give you the median score as well and the lower quartile which is our q1 25th percentile so we have a percentile dot inc function use that and uh, 0.25 it, it's going to give you the 25th percentile use the same thing with 75 percent it, it's going to give you the 75 percentile okay so that's uh, that's simple as it is i've created all these six measures so let's click on the cluster bar chart and in my y-axis i'll add the gender and in my x-axis, I'll add all these measures what we have created over here, okay? The first thing what I'll add is minimum score, then the max score, the mean, the median, the upper quarantile, and the lower quarantile, okay? The idea behind this is we have these data points over here, right, in a single line. We'll bring all the data points in a single line. With the latest updates in Power BI in February, we have these options in the bars. If you go here, we have something called as layout. Select all over here in the bars. And we have something called as overlap function. So if we switch it off, switch it on, so we can we have the ability to make all these bars stack together. So what I'll do is I'll click keep this on and space in between the series to 100 percent so that it's it comes in a single line. So what is happening over here is we have all the bars in a stacked one below the other. So one important thing what you have to know over here is, so the lower the order, the upper the layer, which means the lower quarantile is on top, upper quarantile is below that, median is below that, so on and so forth. So the next thing what we have to do is we have to increase or make the transparency to 100%. The bars are still there. We can't see it because we have made the trans we have made it completely transparent. So now go ahead and select the upper quarantile. Okay, 
So I'll just select the gray stone over here. Keep it as 50%. Okay, we are going to select one, one by one and make work with it. So what we are trying to do over here is build the box first. So I've kept my transparency to 40, 45% or let's make it as 50%. Now let me click on the lower corner tile and make this one into a completely white and make it as 0%. So we have the box right now. We let's go and build the whiskers. So to build the whiskers, let's go to the error bars over here. Click on this one. Go to the minimum score. You can choose min or maximum score over here. Let me choose the minimum score. We have this uh, upper bound and lower bound over here. So I'll bring my same min score as the lower bound. And in the upper bound, I'll drag and drop my maximum score. Okay. And switch on this enable function. So we have the whisker and the box right now. Let's go ahead and add the data points similar to this, like uh, the mean and the median, etc. So let's uh, select the mean first. Let me select the mean score. So the upper bound is again the same measure, which is mean score and the lower bound is also mean score. We don't have a range there. It's a single point, right? So let's click on the switch on the option of bar over here and I'll instead of, uh, you know, the line, I'll choose the dot. Okay. And what I'll do is uh, keep the color as white and border color as black. So we get something similar to what we have over here in this chart. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for the median. So let's click on the median and for the upper bound, I'll choose the median score and the lower bound, I again choose the median score. And what I'll do is I'll switch on the enable function and instead of, uh, I'll keep the marker as a line itself over here and just increase the size to a 10. Okay, so we have a line over here, which says that's our median and a a dot over here which says that's our mean so we have the min max median and mean over here so something which we can make modify it a bit and show a darker region from the median so to do that let's go to the bar again choose the median and give it a darker gray tone over there and reduce the transparency a bit we have something similar to what we have over here and let's you can also play around with the data labels if you need i'll just go ahead and remove the legends what i have over here so just click on this one and i don't need a legend over here i'll just switch it off and in the y-axis i'll switch off the title and in the x-axis again i'll switch off the title so it's it looks pretty clean right now and we can change the title to box plot core this is my and you can also go ahead and play around with the data labels if you like you can go ahead and you know put a label if you need uh, and play around with it but this is how you can easily make a box and whiskers plot if you can't use a custom visual within your organization so that's about it so if you can unfilter this you can see both the categories and their box and whiskers so when will we use this box and whiskers plot? A simple straightforward example is analyzing the sales by category and analyzing the marks something like this by female and male or analyzing the marks for different subjects where the range starts and where the range end and ends etc. And uh, uh, if you look at manufacturing you can analyze different machines right uh, or different shift what is the yield uh, or how what is the minimum and what is the maximum which uh, different ships are giving you or different machines are providing you etc a combination of box and whiskers and waterfall is makes you a candle kind of a chart which is very much used in a share market analysis etc so any of these kinds of analysis where you need not just one but few metrics together in a single visual then you can always go for a box and whiskers plot it's very easy to put together. You can just pull it off. Um, if, you, if you're not allowed to use a external vision, you can pull it off with a, a native clustered column chart with a native column chart in Power BI as well, which is very easy. So, uh, so hope you enjoyed it. If so, please do subscribe and uh, see you in the next one.